Hi gorgeous and welcome to this week's messages. I'm very much kind of just not really here, not, not really, I'm very much out of the way right now and just allowing myself to be used as um, a physical body to, to allow messages to flow from the unseen, from the subtle world, from, from that, that reality slightly before what we may be aware of or beneath, let's say. I had an incredible session yesterday. I want to say thank you to everybody that joined me on that extremely out of the way channeled messages that came through for everyone individually and collectively about the Divine Love Twin Flame experience. I'm very much in love with what flows and outside of my individual perspective right now. So, yeah, not much to say. So I've given these cards a really great shuffle. I'm going to split them, as usual. And let's get going. Free hands, I moved and I um, forgot my, my um, tripod. So we're kind of close up again today. These are my oldest deck. So these are the ones that want to speak right now. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for this week. Thank you for being here. You're incredible. Wow. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Bottom of the deck for this week is this Ace of Swords. I can already see I've got some, oh, I thought I was going to say I had some reversals, but it's the hanged man that's in reverse. Sometimes you can be. This Eight of Swords is, is saying that we're not seeing. And it's saying that we feel trapped, but we are in control of that experience of being trapped. I also want to say that do not allow that victim mentality to come through if you feel trapped. Don't say, I feel trapped this I'm trapping myself I shouldn't be trapping myself I should be doing something else we can get rid of those we can just say oh isn't that interesting I'm having all these thoughts these swords are these thoughts the ace of swords is clarity truth purity direction cuts through all the rubbish that's in the way gives us our truth and is in complete and is in complete alignment with our destiny when we have these eight swords, it's as though each of those individual swords is an ace of swords. It's a valid, beautiful energy. But when we are surrounded by eight, we it's confusing. It's trapping. It's confusing. The message is allow the truth to be the truth and then set it aside. Then set it free. Then dissolve it, essentially. You don't have to dissolve it, but if you don't dissolve, if you cannot release truth as well as invite it, it will create an experience of a cage. And it's all in your mind, but at the same time, as I said, it really doesn't matter if you're in the experience of some kind of cage. The traditional understanding and meaning of this card, though, is that the individual is blindfolded and and tied up but it's it it's it's an illusion it's an illusory state of restriction it does say that this restriction is put upon oneself and it is indeed true that all restriction we put upon ourselves and so it's okay, it's just to notice that when we, even if each individual sword is the same truth, if we keep, if we allow them to build up, they will stop us from seeing. It's as though, as beautiful as truth is, it is a transient experience, as is everything. And if we try to hold on to even beautiful, valiant ideas, they will restrict us. We must allow ourselves to 
think freely. In a way, it's kind of inviting us to make friends with the mind by allowing it to do its work, but not making a judgment about a thought and deciding if it's right or wrong or whether we want to keep it or not. I'm going to put that in the right pile. It's saying, mm, doesn't matter. I do feel like there is a message that if people are feeling trapped or feeling static or feeling as though nothing is happening or feeling as though they can't see. It's because you're not supposed to see right now. Sometimes it's best that you don't see. It's a bit like I've got this, you know, when someone has some kind of accident or something. This is a kind of bad uh, example, but it's just when sometimes it's better that we don't see because we can perpetuate something that we don't like when we can see it. So if we can make friends with not seeing and not knowing, then um, it's actually the path of least resistance. But I also do feel like if we want to see, we can. I don't feel as though what is happening is actually quote unquote bad, but it's that there is some resistance to the experience of it. Maybe it's because it's moving too fast. Maybe it's because we're expanding so fast right now that to see everything could be difficult. It takes a lot of, it takes the ability to allow things to be true and then allow them not to be true. Without that experience, without that ability, it's as though we cannot perceive how fast the expansion is right now. I do feel as though that there's extremely fast expansion. Yes, so I'm going to get out the masculine feminine spread for this week and we are going to see what's going on with these masculine feminine energies in regards to this message. So let's just let's over first card for the masculine.